As human beings look to the stars, we have made countless discoveries that only help to demonstrate how little we truly know about the universe that surrounds us. So today, here at Unexplained Mysteries, we will be going over three recent scientific discoveries. Scientists are pretty sure they found a portal to the fifth dimension. Scientists believe they may have found more clues to a possible fifth dimension, which helps in trying to find an explanation for dark matter. Dark matter is hard to detect, as it doesn't emit any visible light or energy. Scientists are adamant that this unseen force is a dominant ingredient that makes up the universe. The supposed fifth dimension is currently understood as a dimension where gravity and electromagnetism combine. This new discovery may not turn out to be as exciting as it might seem at first, but scientists believe it will help us to better understand and observe dark matter in the near future, as well as its impact on the universe. Even though dark matter makes up 75% of matter, it has never been observed. Recent reports suggest that scientists are trying to find dark matter by expanding on the theory of a warped extra dimension, which was first stated in 1999. This new research builds on the idea that fermion masses could be entering a fifth dimension using portals, which in turn is creating dark matter. This new research could be a giant leap forward in our understanding of some of the universe's greatest mysteries, which so far have only been for sci-fi and fantasy writers to speculate. Hubble observations suggest a missing ingredient in dark matter theories. Astronomers studying the Hubble telescope observations have discovered that there may be a missing ingredient in our understanding of how dark matter operates. Astronomers have discovered a variance between the theoretical models of how dark matter should be apportioned throughout galaxy clusters, and observations of dark matter's grip on clusters. Dark matter has not yet been observed, as it doesn't emit any visible light. Scientists are only aware of its existence through its gravitational pull on the visible matter of the universe. Astronomers can however detect dark matter by measuring how its gravity distorts space. This is an effect which is known as gravitational lensing. Scientists have discovered that small concentrations of dark matter in clusters produce gravitational lensing effects that are approximately 10 times stronger than initially expected. Scientists made this discovery by observing several massive galaxy clusters that had been captured by the Hubble telescope, as well as the European Southern Observatory's very large telescope, which is located in Chile. Galaxy clusters are made up of individual galaxy members. These clusters are known to be the largest repositories of dark matter. Each of these clusters are held together predominantly by dark matter's gravity. The individual cluster galaxies are themselves satiated with dark matter. Dark matter in clusters is consequently apportioned in either large or small scales. With the help of Hubble's high-definition images, as well as spectra from the VLT in Chile, a team of astronomers have been able to produce an accurate, high-fidelity dark matter map. They were able to identify a lot of multiply imaged, lensed background galaxies. By measuring the lensing distortions, the team of astronomers were able to trace out both the amount and distribution of dark matter. The team was also surprised when the Hubble images uncovered smaller scale arcs and distorted images packed with the larger scale lens distortions in each of the cluster's cores, where the largest galaxies reside. The team believes that the embedded lenses are created by the galaxy of dense concentrations of dark matter, which is connected with individual cluster galaxies. Dark matter's dispersion within the inner parts of individual galaxies is known to intensify the galaxy cluster's overall lensing effect. The team also conducted spectroscopic observations by measuring the velocity of the stars which are orbiting within several of the cluster galaxies. Piero Rosati of the University of Ferrara in Italy said the following, Based on our spectroscopic study, we were able to associate the galaxies with each cluster and estimate their distances. Pietro Bergamini of the INAF Observatory of Astrophysics and Space Science in Bologna went on to add, the star's speed gave us an estimate of each individual galaxy's mass, including the amount of dark matter. 
the team of astronomers studied the dark matter maps in comparison to samples of simulated galaxy clusters with similar masses, situated at approximately the same distances as the observed clusters. The clusters in the computer simulations did not show an equal level of dark matter concentration on the smallest scales, the scales associated with individual cluster galaxies as seen in the universe. LIGO sees its biggest black hole crash yet. Approximately 7 billion years ago, two large black holes collided to form a new massive black hole. To date, this collision still stands as the largest to have ever been detected. And the black hole that it formed is still the largest that has ever been found. When it was first discovered, scientists were baffled as to how it could even exist at all. The ripples from that massive collision were picked up on the two laser interferometer gravitational wave observatory detectors in the United States and another one in Italy on May 21, 2019. These waves had been hurtling through space for billions of years. The waves were the result of the merger between two or more black holes, one of which was 85 times the mass of the Sun and the other one which is roughly 66 times the mass of the Sun. After the two collided, they had created a new supermassive black hole that was 142 times the mass of the Sun. The rest of the nine times worth of Sun's matter was converted into energy after the collision, which shook the universe enough for LIGO and Virgo to detect and interpret the ripples it gave off, which allowed scientists to learn and understand how black holes as big could even exist. Nelson Christensen, a member of the Virgo collaboration, said in a statement, This signal doesn't look much like a chirp, which is what we typically detect. It is more like something that goes bang. That bang shook our region of space for approximately a tenth of a second, after traveling for a longer period of time than any gravitational wave that has previously been detected. After analyzing the shape of the wave, scientists were able to determine the type of black holes involved and their exact size. Until this discovery was made, black holes were thought to have fallen into two different categories, stellar mass black holes and supermassive black holes. Stellar mass black holes are known to form from collapsing stars and typically don't get much larger than a few dozen times the mass of the Sun. Stellar mass black holes are the black holes that LIGO and Virgo have previously detected merging. Supermassive black holes are on the other end of the spectrum. These consist of masses on a much larger scale, which can be millions or billions of times that of the Sun, with a gravitational force which can grow whole galaxies around them. The Milky Way has one, as well as most other similar galaxies, although scientists aren't exactly sure about where they came from or how they formed. No merger of such a monstrous black hole has ever been detected. Gravitational wave astronomy is still a relatively new science, so it's impossible to be certain. As LIGO, Virgo and future detectors gather more data from different events in space, further research should be able to paint a clearer picture. And it's hoped that supermassive black holes should become easier to explain in the not-too-distant future. But what do you make of these recent scientific discoveries? Be sure to let us know your questions and answers in the comment section below and help us to grow this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.